Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone with you well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, man. You Akim Tazadakim that did this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'm the priest Shaman, and this week's topic is going to be entitled um, Heap Coals on Your Enemies and Your Brother's Head. Um, inspiration for this show comes from, again, manners and customs of Bible lands. Um, I just can't stress enough how important it is that brothers could go online and check that out, man. Manners and customs of Bible lands. It's so important to get, you know, a better understanding of what the scriptures say. Because, um, you know, people could study the English language, correct? And somebody could ask me concerning basketball, you know... Somebody could come, yo, you know, where you stand on basketball? And I could say, I'm good. Now, I'm good could mean I'm actually good at playing, or I'm good as in I'm good, I don't fuck with it. Or it could say, I could actually be good at basketball, but I'm good right now in terms of answering that question. So the context, you can't just know English. You got to understand the context and the customs of where you're at, right? Also, like uh, another example, like somebody that's a, you could say, um, that person is a know-it-all, right? You know, that's kind of like, you know, a kind of like a, a, a negative comment. Or you could say that person knows it all. And it could be in a good word. It could be in a good sense. So too with the scripture of heaping coals on your enemy's head. I'm going to read the scripture and I'm going to break it down. Um, this is Proverbs chapter 25, verse 20, 21. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. It, for thou shalt eat coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahshua shall reward thee. So, first and foremost, it's a double meaning. It's a double entendre. You know, heaping coals on your enemy's head. Because if somebody is being a demon at you, at your job, you know, he's trying to provoke you to anger, but you're not giving him nothing. You're not giving him no emotions. In fact, you're just working. It means something, you're still being polite and courteous to that person. That kind of heats him up. That, that, gets, that gets the nigga heated. You know, I get the nigga fucking, he's like, damn, man, I'm trying to get on this nigga's skin. But he's he's not, you know what I'm saying? He's not doing nothing. In fact, he's being, like, peaceable to me, which the scriptures advise. Be wise as serpent, harmless as dove. Um, instead, of a, instead of a friend, be not an enemy. So the scripture, that's wisdom. You know, somebody's being a demon with you at your job, really, to get on their skin is just not to let it affect you. And in fact, you know kind of be courteous that shit will piss them off right so that will heap coals on their head that will make them real hot um now when i said i have a double meaning is and this meaning might skip over your head if you do not understand the manners and customs of the time that this was written you know what i'm saying during the time of the ancient times well it was customary for the poor uh you had different professions back in the ancient times one of the professions is a baker Right, and the scriptures tell you how the baker would bake all night, whatever. He will cast wood into the oven, correct, and have it burn all night. And in the morning, what he'll do is he'll get rid of the wood as coal, as charcoal. And you know, the poor, you know, rising early would go to the baker and try to get some of his coal to use it to cook, man. Bring it back home to the family to cook, right. And you brothers that, you know, grew up in third world countries, you can relate. You know what I'm saying? In Jamaica, you know, we don't think of it because we're here in the West. We could just turn on our stove with gas, propanes, and, like, we don't really think about it. But not everybody has gas. Not everybody has propane to where they have to use coal. So back then, you would run to the, to the uh, baker and try to take some of the coal that he has left over from the wood that he burned all night that you may use it, um, you know, to cook with. Now, it says, if thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. Now, that's talking about your enemies in the truth. Now, the first example of using it was an actual straight up guy being a fucking nigga. But you're also going to have enemies, which are brothers. You know, brothers are going to offend each other, man. Brothers, demons are going to hop on brothers primarily due to assumptions. You know what I'm saying? A brother might piss you off. Sometimes he really does piss you off. Sometimes it's really nothing there. Satan could be fucking with both of y'all. But the, 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 the thing to do is not be a nigger about it, man. 
Even if you feel a guy's off, if he's in the truth, you treat him like a brother. That's why it says, as he take it away, uh, it says, if thine enemy be hungry, give him bread. So if that guy, you know, he kind of defends you, you being a nigga, but he's still in the truth, you don't say, man, fuck that guy, man. You know, he pissed me off. Nah, if he's hungry, man, you give the brother arms. If he's thirsty, you give him water. Same way. You don't solve niggerism with niggerism. A lot of times it could be assumptions. A lot of times demons could be on you or demons could be on him. Either way, you still got to be godly towards his brother. That's why it says, for thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. Now that goes back to the ancient customs of that's really helping somebody out. Think about it. If I'm using coal to cook and what they would do, what we would do back in the days, back in the ancient times in Bible times is um, the poor would get like clay you know, clay vessels and try to heap as much coals as you can and put it on your head to take it back home. So me, like, you know, if you, if you're doing this for the brother, picture giving him coals, like, cause you know, back then it had to be first come first serve. You know what I'm saying? Charcoal or coal is, has intrinsic value. So it does run out. So this is like, it's not like FRNs where you can just print out of nowhere. This is actual tangible thing. So if you putting coal upon a brother's head, that's really doing him a good service, man. You know? That's like being really charitable in that sense. Because the scriptures go on to say, For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord Yahweh Bashim shall reward thee. So instead of being a nigga, you help this brother out, you know? And the importance of understanding the customs and manner of the times is that second meaning could get lost. But, you know, certain brothers definitely can relate. You know, the brothers, because, that you know, brothers that still live in parts of countries where coal is used to cook your food man put coal under the pot that's how it was when i was growing up in jamaica you know but there's a lot of these scriptures out there that have double meanings you know um and if you don't know it um you could you could kind of you know you could miss things that's how come the scripture speaks so well about a traveler in the book of sirach certain manners and customs if you don't know the custom of your area you could get yourself killed Bandanas could be popping somewhere. You come out here, you wear red and blue, have no idea about gang violence, you could get yourself killed. Killed. In fact, when I was uh, young, going to Jamaica, G Unit was popping. G Unit was popping. I remember they, they second they, they, that G Unit album was popping. And one of the songs they had was called My Buddy, right? And that was about your gun. You know what I'm saying? It was like, My buddy, wherever I go, he go. But at that time in Jamaica, the word buddy was referring to your private parts. So if you go ahead and sing this song, somebody in Jamaica could be looking at you like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? Or you might get a big fucking stone over the back of your head. So traveling and having wisdom of different cultures was highly esteemed. That's why, you know, the brother wrote what he wrote in the book of Sirach, man, about a traveler. Because a person that travels, he knows the customs. That's why the scriptures speak about having a guide. And you can see that in these different movies. A guide might tell a person, no, don't do that, don't do that. You know? Because I remember there's another example of this lady. She went amongst the uh, Gadites. And um, one of the customs that's here in America is, you know, if you eat too much, you just throw the food away. But to the Gadites, that's greatly offensive, man. You know, to throw food away, that's greatly offensive. So... The manners and customs are very important. And again, it's very important in the scripture. So I'm going to break it down again. If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head. And the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, shall reward thee. So again, that's one fold going into using wisdom on a guy being a fucking nigga. Or he them being a nigga. You know, agree with the adversary quickly. Instead of a friend be not an enemy. Treat the dude courteous and I'll actually piss him off more and the most I'll reward you by getting his ass. And it's also talking about an actual brother. You know, a demon getting on a brother, man, or a demon getting on both of y'all. That don't mean y'all not men of the Lord. Shit, brothers could get in heated debates to the point that they kind of want to drop each other. You know? You might have been a street dude just coming in. You still got that street mentality and you bump into a brother that's forward. Nigga, you can't talk to me like that. <laughs> you know? And even if it get that heated to the point that y'all want to trade blows, listen, man, you got to still remember you a brother, man. Got to be brotherly. He's in the jam. Look out for him. Treat each other like thyself. And it's the equivalent of the ancient men of heaping coals or getting charcoal for a brother. 
that he could help feed his family, help uh, um, uh, help cook something at home. So with that, hey, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakaku Dash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, man, which rule well. And salutations to the hopeful elect out there, Yuakim, Tessadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.